All right, so this was pretty fun here. We were actually, we did the install in there in that aircraft hangar, uh, which was a really fun place to do this all week. We are in Walla Walla. Uh, we just finished this install for a customer. Uh, we got 400 amp hours of Battleborn. Uh, we got the heated, heated Battleborn, seeing so this front bay can get a little chilly. Lynx bus bar, uh, 150, 85 charge controller and the servo, um, the smart shunt so that everything can communicate and display nicely on the screen inside. Uh, what we like about this build is we haven't even used almost a third of the, of the front bay, but we've got a pretty killer system in here where the customer's gonna be able to run the AC and, and really be off grid for quite a while. We, we have a thousand watts on the roof um, of 200 watt rich solar panels, which we'll go up and show you in a second. For the inverter, we put it in the bay here. So being a 50 amp rig, he has the Multi Plus 2. On, this, on these outdoors RV fifth wheels, this was the battery compartment, so it's vented. He's going to come back uh, once we leave and just put a little more of a floor in here just to stop some road splash and stuff that might get up, but a really nice spot for the inverter. All right, moving on inside. Obviously with that servo, you get the option for the Touch 50, which we talk about a lot, but we really enjoy. Um, gives you all the information that you need. Pretty darn cloudy day here today in Walla Walla, so from the 1000 watts, unfortunately, we're only getting about 130, 140, which is not enough, but it's never enough. Really nice spot here with the Touch 50. We managed to come up through the wall where the uh, vent stack was and get it looking nice and neat, like it was part of the part of the rig from the factory. So five 200 watt panels didn't deck the roof out. A customer wasn't trying to go above and beyond with his solo. He just wanted a nice functional system. Plenty of walking space. Both sides of the AC are clear. Yeah, we were really happy with the cabling. Yep, so we also put a soft start in the AC while we're up here to just to decrease that, uh, the, those peak amps so that the, you know, the, the batteries can handle that load. Um, really happy with it, every, how we all laid it all out. The cleanliness of the cabling was really good. The roof's a little dirty, of course, but everything's looking nice um, for some, you know, we want these systems to last a long time. So we try to take our time and make sure that what we build will last as long as the rig. All right, as always, if you have any questions about this install, if you're looking to add solar, um, please reach out to us. We'd love to help. We always like talking about this stuff. And signing out, goodbye.